On the last Penn Vital Shine, we follow the story of Dr. William Davenport. He had traveled all the way from Florida to receive a new technology to preserve his dying heart until a new heart became available for transplant. We are happy to announce that on the very night our last program aired, William's long-awaited transplant became a reality. Well, Saturday morning, I woke up and I was just beginning to have breakfast. And all of a sudden, the nurse ran in there. Stop, stop, don't eat no more. As uh, we were getting ready for the show to be on television, uh, he was getting ready to go to the operating room. I said, what's going on? We think we got you a heart. He went to the operating room later in the morning uh, and did fantastically well in the operating room. Uh, he came off a bypass without any difficulty uh, and within 12 hours was uh, off the ventilator, sitting up in a chair uh, and doing really well. Over the past few days, uh, he has uh, been moved up to one of our regular surgical units where he's walking around the corridor and really making a remarkable recovery. And when you look at life, how many people get that second chance to do it again? And this second chance is exactly what William looks forward to most. Getting back home, see my family and my dogs. Yeah. I'll be there. I'll be there. Be sure to watch this fall for new episodes of Pen Vital Signs including the emotional story of Donna Avolio. She has just begun her fight against breast cancer. I found out that I had breast cancer about a month ago, and uh, it was a shock. I mean, I have no history in my family. I um, really have been in wonderful health for forever. Now it will be up to these surgeons and an advanced procedure to help improve Donna's chances. Hopefully it's early. Hopefully we can, you know, get a handle on it and get it taken care of. Join us this fall for Penn Vital Signs on 6ABC. To learn more about a new option for treating Parkinson's disease, call 1-800-664-5111 at extension 1070 or log on to newhopeforparkinsons.com.